Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at the Zero 4 Long Range from Avant Quads. This is the HD version, so it has the DJI camera and the Cadix Vista for transmission of that high definition video. The motors are the Brother Hobby 1504.5 2650 kV. It comes with two sets of gem fan props. The 2040 Biblade is what I have here. But if you wanted more grippy sort of freestyle flight, the Hurricane 4023s will work very well as well. The only one flight controller board is the JHE MCU GF 420 all-in-one, which is 2 to 6S compatible with a 20 amp ESC. Mine is the Crossfire version, so of course, I use my Tango 2. This is the GPS unit. Notice the GPS wires seem to be inside some protective sheathing. The Rush transmission antenna has got a really flexible stem to it, and it's left-hand polarized. It weighs 170 half grams. In the long-range flight you're about to see, I did use this battery, but I didn't discharge it down to 2.2 volts per cell as you can. With that 3000 milliamp 4S lithium-ion battery, it weighs 371 and a half grams. In the more aggressive backyard flight, I use this 4S 850 milliamp battery, which brings us up to almost 270 grams. Arms look like they're three and a half millimeters thick. The sandwich plates look like they're at least 1.5 millimeters thick. Top plate is also 1.5 millimeters. Technically, these aren't a sandwich plate. It's more of a split plate as the bottom piece runs clear to the front. And then this secondary piece up here runs clear to the back. Okay, because it's long range, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk all the way through this because talking for what? total flight on this one and then the flight in the backyards like almost 19 minutes I don't think I can keep that up so I hate to, to bore you uh, I don't have any good stories to share with you but I will tell you a little bit that about my experience and the times that I've been flying this of course this particular day where I'm out kind of in the field that I feel comfortable doing more it's not necessarily wrong long range uh, but it's just more distance flying than I typically do it gives us a different scene you don't have to stare at my backyard again I think this quad is going to be much more durable than the other long range quads I have seen in this category, the four inch category that is, because it's just got more carbon. I think it's gonna take a crash better. Um, it's still uh, assembled with independent arms, so you can replace the arms at your need. When you go to Avant Quads to look at it, you'll notice they have a lot of drop downs for different selections. Of course, if you wanna get under the 250 gram limit, you'll need to go to the analog version. You know, the DJI camera weighs, what, 12 grams all on its own, and then the Vista is like another 20-some grams. Uh, so going with the HD and the DJI stuff increases our weight quite a bit. We can decrease that quite a bit by just going analog. And they do have an analog version uh, listed on the site, uh, and it, it sells for $179. This DJI version or HD version is $308, so quite a bit more expensive uh, between the two. Of course, I think the most important thing, for those of you who aren't familiar with Avant Quads, I, I've had this YouTube channel as my hobby for like four years, and I have yet to have anyone leave a negative comment about Avant Quads as a company or their quads. Um, if you've had a poor experience, um, I think you're in the minority, but I would like to know about it. Uh, I don't think there's anybody out there. I just don't. I've reviewed, what, four Avant Quads, maybe five. It's hard for me to keep them all straight. Um, but they've all been very good performers and very high quality. So if you aren't familiar with Avant Quads, it's one of the hidden gems within our hobby. They don't advertise a lot, nor do they spend a lot of their time on marketing. Uh, they make what I think are quality quads, and they do a really nice job. You, you probably didn't even notice uh, the solder joints on that all-in-one board uh, when we did the quick specs. But when we get back to the desk, and I'll put a timeline down at the bottom so that you guys can just click around. Um, on that timeline, it should show you different sections of the, the, the video because I'm sure it's going to be well over 20 minutes. But there'll be some dead air in there because, you know, this long range flight is going to go on for quite a while. And then we've got the uh, backyard flight as well, which uh, give you those specs uh, to, to wrap up. Let's back up. Let's wrap up about Avant Quads. If you have an Avant Quads, if you've had one, maybe you broke it or uh, maybe you put it in a river or what have you. Uh, if you have experience with Avant Quads, I think it's pretty important for you to go down. You don't have to spend a lot of time if you don't want to, but just say, yeah, I've had one and this was my experience with it. Uh, if you want to get more elaborate, I sure appreciate it. And I'm sure the people who are doing their homework when it comes to what quad they want to buy uh, to either start out with or a particular type of flight they're looking for, they would sure appreciate knowing uh, about your experiences with Avant Quads. 
Uh, this flight is on, again, it's on the 3000 milliamp lithium ion battery. It's got the 18650 cells inside of it. That's a GEPRC battery, but I wanted to keep it pretty even because the GEPRC Crocodile Baby uh, was also an HD version. Uh, this flight is going to be about 25 seconds less than the Crocodile Baby. And that makes sense because this one has more weight. And part of that weight is uh, the Crossfire. So Crossfire in this, uh, I would say that probably has about four, maybe five grams between the receiver, the wiring, and then the antenna out front. So th there's a little bit of a weight difference, and there's also, a, it's not quite even because I use the DJI controller on the Crocodile Baby. The fast flight in the backyard with the all-line 850 milliamp forest battery is going to be six minutes and 44 seconds. Um, this particular day when I'm flying out here in this range, it was actually really nice. I believe, if I am not... I think this was Thanksgiving Day. Um, I tried to get my kids to come out with me. Only the girls would take me up on it, and I was really really happy that they would come out. I told them they were going to be my spotters. They kind of bailed on me. As soon as I got set up, they went to investigate the creek and just kind of explore and look around and have a good time. And you may hear them in this video if you listen to the entire video as well. Uh, near the end, my youngest starts to come towards the quad. She's so fearless and has so much faith in my ability not to hit her. Uh, you know, I have to tell her, you know, don't come any closer. I'm coming in to land now. So if you jump towards the end of this flight, you'll hear some of that interaction. And, and maybe, I think they, uh, I think it's after the flight where they talk about, we should come back here more often. It's fun. Uh, we took a little nice little walk down to the burial site. We saw a bunch of really pretty bluebirds um, and just kind of took in the fresh air. And because I believe it was Thanksgiving or it was the Thanksgiving weekend, um, we had people that were walking the trail, so I needed them to, to look out for me. So every once in a while, I would come back to this trail and make sure I wasn't going to be bothering anyone, just kind of take a quick look around. Actually, we kind of must have been the last one for the day or something. You can see the girls down there uh, by the creek when I pass by every once in a while, if you've got an eagle eye. They just like, there's a little bench down by the creek, and they like to sit there. Uh, my 12-year-old, I guess she's not 13, Jesus. She uh she says she likes to listen to the creek. <laughs> um, okay, each their own. But this this flight goes on for quite a while. Of course, I've got the DJI stats down there at the bottom. Probably the one you want to look at the most importantly is going to be the flight time. Of course, you've got to divide that by 60 because it just counts the seconds. Uh, you may be interested in the signal and, and the battery voltage as well. You can fly the battery down to 2.2 volts per cell. I've not done it yet because every time I've used it, you know, 12 minutes of flying for me, that's that's a long time. But I can understand, and I've talked to a few people who have been interested in, and made purchases such as the Flywheel Explorer or the Baby Crocodile, or Crocodile Baby, excuse me, that I think the desire for some of you is not so much the long range and, and going visit a mountain three kilometers away, but having a big space possibly like this to where you can go out and just fly for more than you could for say three or four minutes you want to go out and, and fly longer periods of time uh, so there's some subsection of people who are looking at these long rangers as just the ability to fly longer not necessarily uh, to fly uh, to a, a specific location uh, you just want to fly longer and of course you wouldn't necessarily need a what is that a 40 dollar battery the geprc 3000 milliamp um for sale that I've been using for these. You could definitely fly with a much smaller battery like the 850 that I showed you, and, and you get really good flight time, like I said, six minutes and 44 seconds. There is some wind in this. I actually, when we left the house, I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. It's just so calm and so still. Of course, as soon as we break away from the house, I get out in the street a little bit, and there gets to be a little bit of a breeze. I'm like, oh, that's not bad. Then we get out here and we're like, oh yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze. And then every once in a while, and you may be able to hear it on the uh, camera that I've got sitting on the ground to record audio, you may be able to hear the, the wind kick up from time to time. Uh, but overall, I, I, as with all of our quads, I thought the tune was very, very good. Uh, you can use the tri-blades on this tune. I did confirm that. Uh, I actually talked to Avant Quads to make sure it was safe before I tried it. So if you want to go with tri-blades, you can. You don't even have to worry about changing out the tune. Pretty dynamic tune. If I'm coming off as though I have some sort of affinity for Avant Quads, I think, as I said, you know, two, three minutes ago, I just think it's one of the hidden gems. I don't think they get talked about nearly enough. I've had the Kira, the Vanta Nano, the Vanta 2.5. Uh, there's this, the I, the the Ciro 4. I swear there's been one or two others, and every one I have 
Just received positive comments from people who've bought one. People who have bought other quads from Avant Quads that I haven't reviewed on the channel. And just positive comments about people who are watching uh, the flight footage of them. So I, I, I don't think they get their due. If you do decide to go to the uh, website to place an order, you can get 5% off if you use the code AVANT5NB. So... Uh, that'll get you a 5% discount, but that is only from now until the end of December. So um, I'm recording this on the 7th. I probably won't have it out until the 9th, unfortunately. So then you would be able to get the discount for the remaining period of December. If you're, if you're doing some shopping, uh, maybe you get some Christmas money. I know that was something that I used to really look forward to, was uh, especially when I was in college and, and <laughs> you're kind of starving and broke, was uh, just give me cash. Maybe that puts you uh, in your budget range after you maybe get some Christmas money or something. The 5% off can come in handy. If you are interested in Avant Quads and you end up not purchasing this, I think you can use that same code of Avant5NB. Um, go ahead and put it in there. Uh, if you have any questions before you place an order between now and December about that code, I will sure reach out to them to confirm or deny any questions that you met have. I don't want to leave anybody out there dry, but you can definitely spend some time um, searching the internet for codes, but Avant 5 NB should work for you. Uh, we're actually getting near the end of the flight here. Uh, this is the part where I think I'm going to be quiet so that you can hear the girls a little bit talking. It's a little bit interesting. At least it's interesting to a dad, an old guy like me. You know, I didn't get married until I was in my 30s, so I got a late start to having a family. Uh, but you'll get to hear them if you haven't heard them already a little bit. Uh, and then I'll come back and do some more narration on the faster backyard flight. You know the gift basket that will give us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fl fun to play chickens down here? Hmm? Are you going to let it I don't like that she got a hold on. There's a camera on the ground. Please don't bump it. Got it. Hey, you want to go down there and play chickens? And they gotta really pump it. No oh, I'm landing, Elena. Don't come closer, please. Okay, I'm back. Backyard flight in action here. Uh, of course, you don't get to see every second of this flight because with Vista, it doesn't record until you arm. So I have to arm it, and then I walk around the front and I do the movie clap in front of the cameras. So that way I can sync them in editing and you get to hear everything. Uh, just as if you were flying the quad yourself. Uh, if anybody missed it, uh, there's a coupon code that I have. It's in the, uh, the video description that's Avant5NB. That'll get you 5% off uh, through Christmas or through December. So you don't have a whole lot of time because it has taken me a little while to get this put together. You know, I've been working on this one for uh, it's two and a half, three weeks. At least, you know, I had it at Thanksgiving and here it is the 7th. So if you're doing any shopping at Avant Quads, whether it's the Ciro 4 or uh, the one of the micros that they have, the Vanta Nano, Vanta 2.5, Kira, they're all very good. If you're doing some shopping over there, pop in that code Avant 5 NB and you should be able to get 5% off. Happy shopping there. Also, something that I haven't mentioned yet that I need to get quickly before I miss any more of you. This will have a buzzer. This was shipped to me as the buzzers were still en route to them. 
and it's not a huge deal because you know the buzzer should weigh more than about five gram it will be a battery powered buzzer it will be mounted in a mount or a bracket right behind the camera uh, that will help keep the, the the weight balance that's where he wants to mount it up so you will have that same long range battery that you see on all the others that has its own battery and then whenever you unplug the battery you've got to then disarm the uh, secondary buzzer or the the buzzer with a secondary battery on it which is a really handy feature especially if you're flying out far from yourself it's not one i've used that much but i think in some cases it, my my ability to find tiny little quads in the grass and the leaves sometimes can be a struggle so even with micro sometimes i wish i had a buzzer we kind of got away from that about a year or two ago but this is a much more aggressive flight uh, of course we're doing punch outs over the house back and forth we're zooming around uh, the trees as i typically do uh, if you're not familiar with the channel typically i don't do anything uh, over a three inch prop I uh, usually stick to micros. I like to fly close to home. I like to be at home. I'm a home body. I like to be around my family and my kids. And so I just typically fly around the house. So you might not think this is uh, appropriate for flying a four incher in the backyard, but I find it good fun still. And I enjoy my time out however I can when it comes to this hobby. And one of the main reasons why I do this hobby is because we have a very nice home and backyard in order to be able to fly micro quads. And my neighbors don't seem to mind. No one really complains. No one really says anything. No one's complained to my knowledge at all. We do have an HOA. So I would think if there was a complaint, the HOA would let me know. Um, I would think if my neighbors, my immediate neighbors, had a complaint, they would say something to me because we're kind of, I don't know. Some of the neighbors are new, but everybody seems very friendly. We all talked. We just recently exchanged uh, Christmas gifts, kind of just drop off some candies um, the girls and I made some cookies, and then the girls and mom made some chocolate-covered pretzels. Um, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it chocolate-covered if you're using almond bark, and then you're kind of just drizzling the chocolate parts over. So, you know what I mean. Also, they uh, crushed up some peppermint and put it in the almond bark, and that was pretty tasty. We hadn't done that before. So, we're, we're not a, an extremely tight neighborhood, not like something weird, but we're all very friendly, in my opinion, and I think we're pretty open, you know somebody needs some gas for their mower to, to finish out their lawn and they'll come over or you find something that fell off a truck or something out in the cul-de-sac then you go ring the doorbell of the neighbors and say hey did this is this yours try to figure out where things are uh we don't while we might not be in everyone's business we we certainly don't hesitate to talk to one another matter of fact my youngest holy catfish she went across the street talked to our neighbor and said how come you don't put up any christmas lights i was like oh my goodness when he told he called me he called me and told me that she had said that to him and i wasn't surprised because she's very assertive and she has a way of presenting stuff like that that doesn't offend people but i was just like oh honey you've got to learn what to say and what not to say but he just laughed and he rolled and so him and his wife uh they're both retired they went out and they put up lights and then he called me because when they delivered the holiday treats uh, he wasn't home and he wanted to know if my youngest was happy with the fact that he had now put up lights because she had asked him why he didn't put up lights and uh, we, we got a good laugh uh, he's a good dude I, I love him to death he's, he's always he'll show up at the house with like he'll go to the farmers market and he'll have bought something and he's like I don't know why I bought this do you guys want it and it, it might be a bush, it might be mangoes, it's, you never know what he's going to show up with. With All of a sudden he's like, I think they would want this more. Uh, so he's a, an extraordinary person and a, and, a, and a great neighbor. Hopefully that was somewhat entertaining. I still think I have another minute or so of flight footage here to go before I'm done. Boy, in my palate, I'm going to need a drink of water here to get through all this. Hopefully I haven't bored any of you too much. Your eyes are not dry and rolling around in the back of your head. Try to find something to talk about during all this flight footage. In, in my channel, on my reviews, I like to show you everything rather than tell you. That way you can make your own diagnosis. You can turn me out or tune me out and you can watch the quad fly and you know what it flies like and what you're looking for and will it do what you want it to do and what you think of it. I don't try to just give you my opinion on all the quads and sometimes later on in the video I will give you my opinion. In this particular case of course I gave you my spiel about Avant quads because I really find it surprising that more people don't talk about them as a company or their products. I know there are people out there with them but they just don't seem to make it on social media all that much.
Okay, so the first thing to cover is going to be the buzzer with the battery that I talked about during the flight footage. It will be right back here. Uh, so it will be mounted and it will be accessible. That way you can press a button or what you need to do in order to be able to uh, uh, disable the buzzer. Uh, usually those buzzers have a button press sequence that you can go through in order to change. Like if the battery gets dislodged, you want the buzzer to beep every 30 seconds rather than every 10 seconds or 5 seconds or constant. Uh, so you can actually make that battery that it has inside last even longer. So if you're really out marching around looking for it, you might have a fighting chance. Also, I, I am really impressed with this print. I I'm pretty certain it's a print. Let me zoom in on that so you can all get a good look. I see layers there. Do I not? Is that just my eyes playing tricks on me? But I mean, look look at this area in here and how sharp that is. I don't know what kind of printer you have to have to print something like that, but these edges are extraordinarily, this almost looks like a plastic mold, but it doesn't feel like a mold. I mean, look, it flexes right in here. It's not a hardened plastic. This feels like, it feels like a high quality TPU. It, it feels, <laughs> It, it feels impressive, I guess is what I should say. But that printer is awesome. I'm sure it's really expensive though too. And you've got another bracket up here. If you were to get a crossfire one like I do, of course, you know, this you can fly this without crossfire because it has the Vista if you have the DJI radio. So that's something to consider. Uh, also, the crossfire has got a little X bracket that it's mounted to that he made there, and he strapped it down with a little zip tie. No problems there. Uh, I mentioned the flexible antenna, and it's mounted in here. Now, with the combination of these two things, I would think in a crash it would be fine. But I can't prove that. We've even we've even got a wrinkle down here, so the you know if it pulls on it, it's not going to immediately jerk on your UFL connector. And something else that I appreciated was the, his creation for holding the GPS unit. It doesn't waggle around. It's solid because it's encased. It's probably a pain to get the GPS unit in there. I've got the Ishin Fiend. I haven't uh, posted that review yet. It's coming. But I noticed that was one of the corners they cut was they didn't encase the GPS unit. And so it just kind of sits out there real flimsy. This one does not. It's firmly mounted, again, with that high-quality print that you see. I should draw your attention to it. I don't want to make, like, any sort of claims. But the wires here are encapsulated in something. It does not... It does not act like heat shrink, so I'm not certain what that's for. I've heard of people saying that when you have GPS near a Vista that you need to have the wires somehow isolated. Uh, it looks as though they have done that. As far as GPS goes, I felt the GPS worked just like it did in all the others. Of course, I'm kind of in the rural America to a degree, so maybe it's easier for me to get GPS signal because there's not much around me. It's not like a built-up city with we a high-rise or anything like that. So maybe that makes it pretty easy. Generally speaking, within two to three minutes, every one that I have had with GPS comes in with satellites. Sometimes it starts at 11. Sometimes it starts at 7. Uh, I think 14 is by default. So if you see 14 and... I did have to switch cameras. Uh, I'm worried that that camera I've been using all these years just died. It won't even power on. It just turned itself off. That might be bad. Anyways, uh, I, in my moment of panic, I can't wrap up my last thought. But one of the things I wanted to, uh, that separates this from some of the others long range is, is its construction. And I talked about the quality of the soldering that you can see there. Some people may disagree, but when it comes to a bind and fly... I think Avant Quads does a nice job of keeping everything organized, doing a nice job with the soldering. They make sure they get things good and hot. They're probably using flux to make sure they get uh, nice little joints. And also the carbon fiber. This one I think is going to be much more likely to be able to take some abuse. It's going to be hard for me to show. Let me adjust my camera. But if I want to flex these arms, they're pretty stiff. And if you consider, you could just look at the difference between the two. Where'd my other one go? You know, if, if we just look at the comparison of the thickness of the carbon, uh, this isn't necessarily a dig on, you know, this market or this crocodile baby, but it's obvious that they're they're cutting weight at every corner in order to be able to produce as long flight as they can. 
Uh, I think in this particular case, if you're someone who's not necessarily looking for the absolute longest flight time you can, but maybe you want a freestyle quad that is in this configuration and price range, then I would take a serious look at the Ciro 4, uh, even though it's long range. It just might fit what you're looking for. Of course, they have an analog version. I'll link both versions down in the video description so you can take a look. Don't forget about that 5% discount uh, through the month of December. I'll try to get this video edited. Uh, Avant 5NB is the discount. And of course, I'll have some clarity on that uh, coupon code down in the video description as well. That coupon should be good on any quads on the Avant quads website. If you do have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know. In that section down below, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.